Hello everybody, I'm Thomas and welcome to the 8th video of my Soul Suburbia playthrough series, which I will be playing through the 16 tile sets the publisher has made for this game. Today's tile set is the Good Eats tile set. The description reads, Dining Options Aplenty. It has a bunch of different food tiles in this tile set, and it does have some from the 5 star expansion, so we will be using this side of the board. As far as my score bonus, I have the bonus to try to get three five-star expansion buildings built and I'll get a plus three income. And I also have the money challenge for later on to try to have at least $45 when this happens and if so, I'll get plus three reputation. So this first building here is part of the five-star expansion, which I mentioned is part of the first score challenge that I need to try to get three of those built. The issue is I don't see any other ones coming up and I don't know if that's really a possibility. Um, I want to focus on income at first, and this would give me an income, but so would this, and this scales, so that might be the better option. This kind of scales, but it gives me some population. I'll, I'll take a gamble. I'll spend 10 on this first uh, New York slice and place it somewhere. I think I was going to place it up down here, because uh, it doesn't have any negative effect for placing it next to the suburbs. So I paid the 10, I get an income from that. Since it's adjacent to the community park, I get a reputation. And then for this, I get uh, a population for each adjacent business, which right now there aren't any. Um, so yeah, that's the first phase out of the way. I also then have to um, now just collect income, which for me right now is just one. Adjust population, so right now my reputation is two, so I go up two, and then finally uh, refresh the market. So I'll discard, ooh, I might pay to discard something else. I forgot I have to discard something. Um, oh, but if I pay two, I only have six dollars, I wouldn't be able to afford the freeway. That's unfortunate, I'm literally a dollar short. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the, the freeway. I really wanna build it, but I don't see it happening so I get some new cards out here on the market we got the slaughterhouse and the what is that the sex serenade jazz club so I think about what I want to grab up here this is not a good situation this costs seven to build I, I want the parking lot can't afford it even if I were to wakeify this and then pay the two dollars to get rid of this I'd still be a dollar short not good not good at all. I really need a source of income, like, soon. I know I'm gonna regret doing this, but I don't see a better option right now, and I need money, so I'm gonna wakeify this, place it here. That's the part of my regret, is placing it there. But it does give me $6, so is it worth it? Maybe. Um, and then to do that, I had to get rid of the other tile. I was gonna have to do, anyway, just sent another tile flying off the table. Um, so, right, so now we do income, which, that didn't change anything, so I'm still just getting one. So I'm currently sitting at $13. And then just in population, go up two still. And we're on to the next round. Scoot these down, grab two new tiles for the market. Oops. There we go. Zoom in here a bit. I tried to adjust my camera and lighting to get these tiles a bit more viewable. Unfortunately, there's not much I really think I could do. I think it's just my camera's not the best. I mean, it's okay, but it's it's not... I don't think there's much I could do in settings-wise to make this much more clear besides just getting a new camera at some point that's a little bit better. So hopefully I'll do that sometime in the future. I apologize if these tiles aren't super readable. So I could buy either of these. Buying the fancy restaurant seems like a really bad idea, even though it would give me plus three income, but this whole theme of this tile set is restaurants and food. So there's there's gonna be a lot more food icons, I imagine, popping up. Convenience store isn't really all that great. I mean, I could just build a factory and get pretty much the same uh, income benefit. It's just building a blue, build the convenience store is a, is a business and that might, uh, combo with some other tiles like i guess i could place it oh, you can't see where i'm pointing like i could build that convenience store place it here would boost up my population because of the new york slice but like only one and that's that's an extra three dollars so i don't know if that's really worth it but then if i get a tile later that's like oh it needs to be adjacent to blue buildings i could place it right here and then i'd already have two so maybe I convinced myself, yeah, I'm gonna build a convenience store, build it right here, 
Um, I'll spend only $4 since it costs six, but then I get two back. Um, so I'm currently sitting at nine. Putting it next to the New York Slice bumps up my population one. And then what else? And I think now we just, oh, I get my income. Then I get to adjust my income, so I get $2. So I'm up to 11, and then adjusting my population bumps me up to nine. Sweet, I don't want the fancy restaurant so that I can get out of here. Push these down and see what's on their way. Oh, well, I can kind of see the the uh, score challenge poking out, which I don't, I'm not even, I do have one five star, but I don't think there's a five star, there's a five star, there's a five star. They're way down the line. There's no way I can build another two. Cause I see it peeking out of the stack. It's like in the next turn or two that that challenge will be, or the bonus, the score bonus will be happening. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. So it's interesting that this farm and slaughterhouse popped up right next to each other. Cause they seem really similar. The only difference is the farm costs four more dollars than the slaughterhouse, but it only does minus one reputation instead of the slaughterhouse, which does minus two. So I think, I mean, I have the money to build the farm and it seems like a good scalable source of income. So I think it's something I need to grab. So I will spend the $9 to grab the farm and place it somewhere cool. Um, I could place it next to like the park. That would get me, that would cancel out the reputation. I might do that. That seems like not a bad idea right next, building a farm next to a community park. Sure. Um, so the, the reputations cancel each other out and then I get plus one income for every food icon, which right now is just one, but it's something and it's scalable, which I like because it scales and then I can invest in it with my little investments later and then can be really, uh, raking in the money from these restaurants. So that's cool. Um, we're back into the income phase where I get $3, put me at a nice five. And then adjusting my popu reputation, sorry, population. Yeah, it goes up two. Hmm. I mean, I wanna, it would be nice if I had an extra $2 to get rid of the jazz club and then maybe build the slaughterhouse next time. I don't, I don't have that kind of money. So goodbye slaughterhouse. Um, moving everything down. The pie shack. All right, yeah, there's the score bonus. So I had one five-star building. Oh, I should have moved up the five-star track too, I guess. <clears throat> I always forget about that. So didn't get the score bonus, but that's all right. Um, I'll try for the money challenge, I guess, even though $45 right now I have five and my income is three. So I don't feel super confident in that, but I guess we'll see. So I think the best option here is just to get rid of the sex jazz club and I'm gonna pay $3. So I get two back to place a, uh, heavy factory somewhere. I think I'm just gonna place it right next to my other heavy factory up here. Cause I guess it, I'll place it, I don't know, maybe right over here. Well, yeah, I'll place it right here. Just in case there's something I can get with adjacent, and I can place it right there and have three, uh, and that'll be pretty neat. So that boosts up my income, another one. So I'm up to four now, which is which is great. I'm making my way. Um, yeah, I don't get any negative effects cause it's not near residential or the other type, the gray type, the municipal, what is that? The government buildings? I forget what they're called, but yeah, those, the gray ones. So income phase, I get four, bumps me up to $6. And then adjusting my population, I go up two, so I'm up to 13. Not great, I could be doing a lot better, but hey, we're on our way. So I gotta get rid of, well, maybe I have to get rid of, yeah. I gotta get rid of Easy Burger, I think, yeah. I don't have the money to keep it around and buy it, so it's gone. Get some new tiles out here, see what's going on. Zoom in a little bit up here in the market. I mean, at this point, I think the only thing that makes sense is building this Lactose Princess building. It only costs $4, I could do it. It would bump my <clears throat> income up by one because of my farm, which would be nice. The thing I'm trying to figure out is where I wanna place it. I basically had three options in my head. I could place it up here, get some money from the lake. I could place it right here next to my New York slice and get an additional uh, population. Or I could place it over here in the hopes that I get something that needs to be adjacent to blue buildings, which I could place here and then I'd have like three adjacent. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm gonna hope that the adjacency comes into play. Well, I can see right 
the warehouse that just popped up like that's i get plus two for each adjacent blue building so if i have save up 13 dollars when that comes up this could pay off so we'll see um i'll place this here pay my four dollars placing it over here i'd move up the star trek thing here and then i also get a plus one income because of my farm so now the income phase i get five dollars and go up to population so i'm right at the house that's about to bump my stuff down. Now we just refresh the market. So I'm gonna get rid of this ATM. Don't want it, can't afford it. Bump that all down and see what's coming. Okay, so I think this roadhouse is probably my best bet for a couple of reasons. It's cheap. Um, I could place it here. It only cost me five bucks. It boosts my reputation or my population by two, which maybe isn't the best. Um, but that was gonna happen anyway, so like, whatever. Um, what else? So placing that there, that also increases my income because of my farm. So I'm back up to four. This is a star, so I move up the star track, and that was the other thing that boosts up my income, so I'm back up to five. Not terrible, I just wanna make sure there's nothing else. Oh, because of the park, uh, my reputation does increase by one. I think that's it. And then I guess minus one for each adjacent business, but there aren't any over this way. So I think we're sitting pretty good. Uh, income phase, get five bucks. Adjusting population, I just go up one and refreshing the market. Pie Shack is gone, pushing everything down. I'm really trying to save up for this warehouse. Like I said, I was kind of playing the long game with how I set up these tiles here. So that might be the payoff, but I need to save up a bit more in this next round to try to get that. This might work out. So what I want to do is Lakeify, because I can't really afford either of these, nor do I want either of those. Lakeify this somewhere. I don't really think it matters too much. I might just add on to this lake up here. The main thing is I just need to get four from this lake. So I'll put it there, um, just kind of expand my lake. Let me see if I can actually, there we go. Now it's kind of, now it's actually kind of got a lake shape going with like the, the edges a little bit more uh, lined up. But yeah, because of that, I get, Four dollars, so then bumps me up to eleven dollars. Pretty nice. Income phase, I get five bucks. Bumps me up to sixteen. That's pretty important. And then, uh, yeah, we adjust our population, which is just going up one over here, so up to nineteen. And then adjusting the market, getting rid of that tile, pushing everything down. One and one. Okay. Interesting stuff. I already think I know what I'm gonna do, but let me look this over real quick. So I was hyping up the warehouse, but little did I know that the scenic parkway was right behind it. It does pretty much the same thing with the bonus, but it gives positive reputation and it has a star. So it could help towards the star track um, on the right here. So, and I added it to cost 16, which is what I was shooting for money-wise. So I think that's what I'm going to do is get the scenic parkway and have it pay off right there. Oh, that's, that's nice. So I got a nice scenic parkway going past the New York Slice convenience store and Lactose Princess. So that cost me all, it cost me all my money to build, all of it. But I go up a reputation. Um, whoops, so I'm up to two. I go up plus two income for each adjacent blue building. So I'm plus six. So it puts me up to 11 income, which is just awesome. And I think that's the only other things. Oh, I got a star from there, so I go up the star track a little bit. No bonus from that, but that's still helpful. There's little bonuses along the way. And I think that's all I need to do for the moment. Yeah, so now I think it's just income phase. I get that sweet $11, which is nice because I am completely broke at this point. And then adjusting my population going up to, just right before the red house. That's a good place to stop. Um, to the market. I don't think I want to keep anything. So I'm gonna just get rid of the warehouse because I've already done that combo. I guess I could put something up here. I mean, the light rail's coming, so I don't know. Maybe I can try to do something with that, but ideally I'd like to try to save money for that challenge, but I uh, like, can kind of see the tile sticking out. It's about to come, I think in the next round or two for at least, yeah, the money challenge. I need to have $45 for that. I currently have 11. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, so I think I'm going to make my first investment uh, I'm gonna get rid, of the, get rid of the light rail, throw that away, and invest in my farm. Cost me nine to do. 
does bump down my reputation one, but it increases uh, my income by one, two, three. So an extra three, I'm up to 14 income. That's awesome. So income phase, I get 14. So I swap that out for a nice 15 here. And then increasing reputation, going up one, but it's enough to knock me back a bit. Which is fun. Um, get rid of something in the market. Let me shuffle everything down. Grab the new tiles. Yep, there it is. I can see it. The challenge, the score challenge. Did I have $45? No, I had 16, so. Didn't quite get that one either, but it's the way it goes sometimes. So it's interesting, I have $16 exactly. Both of these cost $16 and they're pretty close to their effects. This one gives reputation, two reputation for each adjacent um, residential building, which is interesting. I could place it here, get plus one income, plus two reputation. The Mayor Ted statue, I could also buy because it's 16. Uh, it would give me two stars, which would help on the star track. And then the star track, star track. Um, then it gives me base plus one reputation, and then I could get plus one for each adjacent blue building, placing it here, total of plus three reputation. So pretty similar. It's either plus two rep and plus one income, or just plus three rep and some stars. I'm gonna go with the Mayor Ted statue. So I'm gonna spend 16 to build this over here. Um, first I'll go up the star track, two. Then I get three reputation, one, two, three. And I think that's it. Yeah, so income phase, I get 12, which is not too bad. And then reputation, still going up two. Uh, it's pretty abysmal, considering how far in the game we are. I'm only at 24, but I need to start focusing more up on uh, that stuff, I guess. So clearing out the market, there goes that tile. Shuffle these down a bit and start seeing what's coming next. So casino can't afford it. Tavern, I could afford, would help my income. Right now, my income's actually pretty tight. So I need to, and because we're kind of towards the end of the game, I need to focus more on my reputation and my population. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually get rid of the casino to invest in something again. And I think I'm going to invest in my uh, community park here in the center. It'll cost me four. Uh, the main reason I'll do that is, yeah, like I said, I want to get reputation. So I will lose an income, but then I'll get one, two, three, four, five reputation which is pretty nice. So that's done. Uh, income phase, I get 11. I'll do that real quick. There's that, and 11. And then I get seven reputation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did pass a house, so I gotta move down a little bit, but still have pretty good income and reputation after that, and a good chunk of money over here, so feeling pretty good going into this end game. My population could be higher, could be a lot higher, but there's still some time left. I'm at a bit of a crossroads here. So it was in the market, I don't really think I want any of this, at least at the moment. At least what's in the top part. I don't really look too much further past the first two. Um, the thing I'm kind of considering is investing. And I'm debating between the Mayor Ted statue and the Scenic Parkway. I only have one investment left. And I do need reputation. If I were to invest in the Mayor Ted statue, that would get me four rep. Um, get me one base plus two there, that's three. And then it would allow me to go up the Star Trek, which there's a plus one rep, so I'll get four rep total. I could invest in the Scenic Parkway, and that would get me a reputation plus six income for the same price. And I, I would actually get two rep, because I would still go up the Star Trek. Ooh, two rep and six income. I think that is the better option. You know what? I'm going to do it. I worked so hard to set up that combo, I got I to gotta make use of it. So I'm going to pay 16, get rid of the Neighborhood Watch and invest in my scenic parkway. So reputation goes up one. I get a star, which puts my reputation up another one. And then two, four, six, that bumps me up to 15 income. I am maxed out on my income. Now it's income phase, so I get my 15, which is pretty, pretty nice. And then uh, adjust my population, which is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So everything gets bumped down too, but that's all right. Still have five reputations, so that's not too bad. I mean, at this point, I mainly want to focus on my population. This Mirage is interesting. It's expensive though, and it, it does give me 10, but it, the, I, the, the airplane bonus doesn't really help me unless I get LAX. 
which right now is way out of my price range. I think I would build the bed and breakfast. It may not be the most optimal, but it helps. It helps my population, so that's really what I need right now. So I'm gonna place it over here next to the roadhouse. Um, it'll get me two, three, four, five, population. One, two, three, four, five. Bumps me down two and two. Um, income phase, so I get 11. So I swap out my four I got here for 15. And then adjusting my population, one, two, three. Didn't pass the house, which is kind of nice. Uh, gotta get rid of something. I can't even afford the Mirage if I wanted it, so that's gone. Sorry. Too expensive. I don't have enough airports to really, I feel like, take advantage of it, so. So I think I'll build the middle school. So I'm gonna pay $10 for that. Grab that and put this um, probably right here because anywhere else I place it isn't really gonna benefit me. And with that, I can at least get uh, $4 back because of the lake, so that's something. By default, it bumps up my reputation one, and then I get uh, two population for each of my houses, so two, four, six. So we're at 46, one, two, three, four, five, six. It does bump my stuff down a little bit, but whatever. Um, Cause yeah, I'm sitting right there at that next house. So then making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I think I'm good. So then uh, getting my income, I get nine. So I'll just turn that one in for a 10 and I will adjust my population. One, two, it's gonna bump my stuff down again. My reputation is now zero, but whatever. I always got some money. What do I got like 23 bucks? Not bad, not bad. I'll get rid of the PR firm. I imagine the last round has to be coming up either here or next round. Oh, there it is. So we got this round and one more after that. Interesting. So I got a lot of cool choices here, especially having a decent chunk of change. I can actually choose to look a little bit further down the line and there's some good stuff it looks like. I think the thing I'm most, most interested in, I mean the prison looks tempting to grab, get two population for every, um, Civil building, so that'd get me six. There's the high school, which that would get me nine. Um, I kind of want to grab LAX first because that would pretty much pay for itself. Well, if it would pay for itself, what's the point of grab? Like it would boost my income by two, but in the end, I get this and it only bumps up. I only get two, so it doesn't really seem worth it. I think I'm just gonna build the prison. I, I don't know if there's a much better option. So cost me 19 to build find a good spot to place it. I'll probably place it up here so I can at least get some money back from the um, the lake. At least get $2 back. Turn that on. I go down one reputation, which I'll probably regret. And then I get two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I go down to negative three and five. I uh, get my income, which is five and then Adjust population one, two, three. Once again, I didn't. I did this in my last video. I still, I, I haven't, I haven't quite figured out an answer for it. If I go backwards past a house, if I get my income and reputation back. Once again, I'm assuming I do. I don't know for sure though. I haven't seen it explicitly mentioned somewhere, and I should really look into that. So hopefully for next video, I'll try to remember to figure that out. But that's just it. Makes sense to me, I guess. So. Yeah, that's all done. Uh, I got to adjust the market and we'll be on our way into the very last round. I have 11 bucks. Really wish I had some more money to try to do something with, but I <laughs> guess that's just the way it is. So I think my best bets, I mean, I can't afford anything in the market is to spend $4 and uh, build a community park. I think if I build it right here, that's a pretty good spot because then I'll lose an income, but then I'll go up one, two, three. So now I get my income, which is $6. And then finally adjusting my population for the last time, which is just going up two. And that leaves me there. Since I have 10 bucks, uh, I can at least go up two more on the track over here. So that bumps me up to uh, 61, I think is what my final score is, which doesn't seem real good, but let's see what that puts me at. So 61 is a subcontractor barely jeez 
I mean, if I was two points lower, I would have been a junior intern, so... Dang. So not the best. Good Eats, that was a bit tricky. I had a really hard time, I feel like, just managing good population and reputation. Um, that just felt like a bit tricky to me. I wish I could have gotten the tourism bonus at the beginning. That would have helped. The money challenge, I didn't think I was going to be able to do. That was a pretty tough challenge to get to, but that's how it goes sometimes. I enjoyed this this tile set a lot. I liked the all the food options. I think it provides some interesting challenges and decisions. Um, and yeah, I just overall thought this was a pretty solid tile set. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. I'll be back next time doing the house party tile set, so subscribe if you want to catch that. And if you want to see any of my other recent stuff, check out up there.